water from an enclosed water bottle is just fine. We're heading over to the Swiss okay. Bay Station. Sit back and enjoy the ride. Over to the left we have the Susquehanna Plantation built in 1835 from St. Mary's County, Maryland. Back in the day, it was a 700 acre rice plantation and tobacco was the cash crop. The Carroll family owned this plantation as they also owned 65 African Americans that they enslaved to do all the work on the plantation. Go inside and you'll hear stories about the hardships that they endured working for the Carroll family. That little home that you see there is the oldest structure here at Greenfield Road. From Sudbury, Massachusetts, built in the late 1600s, it's the Clinton family home. A one-room dwelling, and Mr. and Mrs. Clinton raised seven children in their comfortable house. The Ferris window built in 1650 from Cape Cod, Massachusetts. The oldest standing window in the United States, it was a gift family for us. And then we have the Bagot family farmhouse that was built in 1754 from Andover, Connecticut. To the left we have a pasture for our grass percheron and Morgan horses. This is a place where they get a little rest and relaxation. They're the ones that are pulling our wagons around the village. Maybe you had a wagon ride today. Back in 1970, the staff over at the Henry Ford Museum of American Innovation decided that the Greenfield Village needed a railway that would run around the Greenfield Village. By August 22nd, 1972 was the first train ride around the Greenfield Village. That was 50 years ago. Happy anniversary to the Greenfield Village Railway. Over in the field there you'll see some wild turkey. Yes, it's not time for turkey yet, but it will be. So those are geese. That's right. Wow. Normally we see turkeys here. Yes. Structure. From Exeter, New Hampshire, it was built in 
in front of it is the pier like the dirt table that was built in 1901. And that's how we get our locomotives and other rolling stock in and out of the roundhouse. Roundhouses like this began to disappear with the advent of the diesel electric locomotive. We have one because we have these diesel locomotives that require constant maintenance and service. There are fewer than 10 left in the country that function as a roundhouse. Our next booth that takes us into Liberty Crackers, where you can see glass blowing, pottery making, weaving, and a printing shop with artisans working, just like they did back in the 1880s, using the same tools and wheels that were used then. We also have the Davis and Berkeley Gallery of Glass, where you can see glass pieces beautifully displayed from
Like, I've never heard of that.